Hey, Kale the Quick here with a quick video on how to install and set up Aegis Online for the first time. So Aegis Online is disseminated with a 7-zip compression format, so you'll need 7-zip to open that. It's just like a normal zip file where it's just been compressed down so it can be shipped around easier. So just find whichever operating system you have. I'll put a link to this 7-zip down below. This is free to use, perfectly fine, and just get the one that matches your operating system. After that, click on wherever you get the download link. It'll pop up, save it somewhere. And usually with your browser, if you click on the downloads, you can open it up. I put mine on the desktop right here, and I already have 7-Zip installed. So once 7-Zip is installed, you can just double click on it. And it opens up. There's two things in here. There's aegisonline.exe and aegisonline underscore data. Press shift to select both of them and then just drag and drop them wherever you'd like. So here they are right here then. So we have Aegis Online EXE and Aegis Online Data. So just make sure they stay together. You can move them wherever you want, just make sure they're together. Now, we're going to double click and open it up for the first time. So once it opens up, you should have a screen that looks like this. Now up in the upper left hand corner, It'll say campaigns. Mine says to kill a star, Gaiden, and that's because I already have campaign folders on my computer. But to make your first campaign, which you must do before you start the server, click on create campaign and then fill out all of these with anything. So let's call ours uh, red. And I'll have the folder titled red version one. My name is Kale. And this is a new campaign. And then after we filled that out, click create campaign again and it will turn gray and you'll be able to type any of these anymore and red will be loaded. Now we go down to networking to start it for the first time. Uh, the next update will make it so the play button automatically does this but right now you need to go to networking hit host LAN, make sure you have a port 7777 should be fine, start host and then you should be able to see your 3D cursor the wisp pop up. Now you can change the color and your name by clicking in the main menu, going to Wisp Settings, typing in your name up here, and then you can select any color you'd like from the color picker here. Now to have someone else connect, I'm just going to disconnect from our server, so we've stopped our server. Instead of clicking on Host, have them go to Connect, and they'll need to type in your IP and all of this fancy stuff, which takes a little bit of tech know-how, and I'm not going to go into that right there. It depends on your router and a bunch of other settings from your ISP. There are a bunch of guides online. I'm certain you can figure that out. So, I'm Kale the Quick, and that was a quick startup guide for Aegis Online Alpha 4. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to Easter Egg Productions to get updates on further developments for Aegis Online. Check us out on Patreon. I'm Kale the Quick. Thanks for watching. Don't die.